Hi guys. It is a dark and gloomy sunset over the end times. Probably soon to be getting our ass kicked with rain uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. It has looked like this for about three days now here at the Point Lonesome Swamp. You will see the road is totally dry. A few miles north of here, I mean, I'm, when I say a few miles, I mean like seven or eight miles north of here, I think they're probably gotten five inches, if not more, where they're getting absolutely hammered. We're waiting for our first drop. Uh, hopefully it can hold off for a little longer. Yes, it is a Sunday evening, April 18th. 2021 I hope it can hold off a little bit longer uh, tomorrow morning I am getting up hooking up my little camper to my gas sucking truck and me and the little dog we are heading out to New York baby yes and uh, so what I'm doing is your old uh, anti-masker is uh, enjoying his last night in the oasis of freedom known as the state of Florida I'm going downtown to my uh, little uh, escape hatch this could be the last night guys it, it could be six months before I do you know when I get back here before I can do what I am getting ready to do, the subversive, the subversive activity that I am getting ready to do is I'm going to drive in to a small town on a Sunday night. I am going to get out of my gas sucking truck. I am going to not put on a mask. I am going to like this party, like. It's 2019. Uh, I'm going to party like it's 2019. I am going to walk inside like I have been doing pretty much once a week for the past six months. Going inside Coach's Bar and Grill. I'm going to go inside Coach's Bar and Grill and uh, plop my unmasked ass down at the bar between two other unmasked people uh, probably in a fairly crowded restaurant of unmasked people I'm gonna sit there I'm gonna have me a nice meal and a couple of drinks on my last night in the oasis of freedom uh, gotta say goodbye to this little haughty bartender Haley I gotta say goodbye to Haley uh, who, you know, Haley, who uh, works uh, here, uh, I guess, 40 hours a week. She uh, serves drinks, the unmasked Haley, and the other uh, seven or eight barmaids and waitresses uh, who have been working right on through the corona panic. Here in the Oasis of Freedom, with no mask, they have spent uh, ev pretty much every day of the past year in the middle of their, their super spreader events, going right on about their lives, as everybody else down here, going on about our lives, uh, partying like it's, night, like it's 2019. Uh, so I am wrapping up six months of uh, six months of uh, my time here in the oasis of freedom thinking about heading back to uh, the mask Nazi capital of the world Ithaca New York uh, is there one fucking place in Ithaca New York uh, that I, I will be able to do uh, what I am getting ready to do uh, down here in the oasis of freedom uh, of Florida 
my my guess is no with the possible exception of the Middle Eastern restaurant they seem to somehow buck the trend last year in in Ithaca on all of this on all of this unadulterated fucking horse shit I'm assuming that Ithaca is gonna be a shutdown uh, as it was last summer and it will probably be six months before uh, I get to take that goddamn mask off I was just talking to uh, <laughs> This the, this friend of mine in uh, in Texas where they uh, it's like uh, it's like the first time in, in her goddamn life that that she's put on this fucking mask and, and it's like uh, okay that she, she she's been uh, I, for whatever reason uh, has has been uh, pressured into putting on this fucking mask. And she says, like the third, the third time she wore it, she got the first cold that uh, she had gotten, and you, you know, in years. Uh, so that going through this whole thing uh, without so much as a sniffle, than putting on the mask and, and getting a fucking cold. Uh, oh, the irony! You know, I was, I, I was just uh, having this little conversation, shall we say? Uh, with one of these pile of fish women uh, up there in in New York about this and uh, what we were talking about is, is all of this uh, this shit and, and I've actually seen it on other channels here in the Doomosphere in the past couple of days these comments come on uh, these these comments I wasn't talking to you do you want it Come on. I wasn't talking. I was talking to him. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, I was uh, talking to this woman, you know, about seeing more and more of these comments about people claiming uh, since they started wearing a mask that they haven't gotten a cold. Well, now, of course, I have never worn a, th th this fucking mask, and, and uh, so of course the year 2020 was the single healthiest year I have ever had. Uh, I have never gone a full year without a cold. I went from January 1st to uh, December 31st uh, without a uh, with, without. Uh, getting without catching a a cold now I did get a very minor cold as you might remember in March so in March of 2021 probably from hanging out at all of these super spreader events down here I did get a little bit of a cold you know I did my usual zinc and vitamin C and that kind of crap and it was this very minor little cold and uh, as as I was laughing about with this woman uh, any fucking day any fucking day I would it, it, if my choice is to wear one of these fucking little panicked sheeple masks every day of my fucking life looking like I'm some character in, in, in a goddamn Twilight Zone movie uh, going around suffocating looking looking like a fucking idiot uh, for a fucking year because I'm so goddamn terrified of getting a fucking cold which is, you know, uh, you do realize that the common cold is a coronavirus that uh, any day I, I will take uh, in, in exchange of my two choices are to wear this motherfucking mask every day of my fucking life like, like a panicked little sheeple because I don't want to get a cold. I don't want to get a cold. Uh, you know, my God. What a bunch of fucking pussies we've become. I'll take having the fucking cold. 
Give me the fucking cold uh, over the fucking mask. These ignorant fucking uh, morons making these. I haven't had a cold one time since I started wearing this mask. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, this the unbelievable layers uh, of fucking uh, fear and stupidity. Uh, these clueless fucking morons. Can't believe I'm heading back to fucking New York surrounding myself with these goddamn uh, little fucking panic stricken little, uh, you know, clueless fucking sheeple, a uh, little chicken shit bastard. Uh, choosing, uh, I, I guess now claiming that they're wearing this fucking mask because they don't want to get a few sniffles. You fucking pussies. Y you know, god damn it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm about halfway ready to say fuck this bullshit in fucking New York. Stay down here in my little oasis of freedom. What do you think, little dog? Do you think we should stay down in the oasis of freedom or not? What do you think? Should we go? Should we stay in the Oasis of Freedom? Or should we get to New York? Here's your pup. I don't care what the fuck we do. Anyway, I'm going to get out there and enjoy being able to walk in a fucking restaurant and, and have a fucking meal and a couple of, of drinks and some friendly conversation uh, with some goddamn normies who, uh, who don't live their fucking lives in fear. Like, the, like these fucking little pussies uh, up there in fucking New York. Uh, I'm going to get out there and enjoy my oasis of freedom while I still can before I throw myself back in fucking prison by going back to fucking New York and dealing with this bullshit. What do you think, little dog? Anyway, uh, wish me luck. Come see me in the... Uh, and uh, bugs in a jar prison in a couple of weeks. Bye, guys.